mean, if you have long arms, like, you might be able to do it. Um, some people might be able to do this. I would go out here, or here. I would try this. Be good at this, because I know some people who can do this. You can't roll their lock. You can't do anything with their lock. They get this on you, you're going. All right, so first off, if you have long enough arms, try working with this. Second off, I'm going to want it, like, right here. See, see how it twinges? Right there. That's where you want to get your lock, you know? Not so I mean, you look here, you look here, you look here, you look here. Right there. All right, so bring it up. So when you get your lock, right, you lock like this, and you're going to want to get either this thumb when you lock, right under the rib, or this thumb right under the rib. Alright? Those are the ones you do. One of these parts is going to have to be on the bridge. I'd recommend this one. Just kind of put, put your hand in and lock on it. And look. Or your form. I mean, he's just going to keep you up. It's easy. Alright? That, that, that's the first type of guys. Causing pain. So you want to get your last cause pain. So it's either going to be here if you have a short arm, or if you're a little bit longer, if you have a forearm. Mine would be short, that's why I have it here. But if your arm's a little bit longer, he's a small one. If your arm's a little bit longer, you use your forearm. Run really long. Do this. Turn it so your forearm is right in the bridge. Alright? You get it to where your forearm is going or your thumb is on the bridge. And then the next thing, Alright? What I do, I don't, I don't really, I don't got the kind of fishing much because I have a lot of other front lines and stuff, but the main thing is, you want to keep it from moving and rolling a lot. So I'm really squeezing his legs, you know. Kind of squeeze them, put my head in the back of the track, and then when I'm ready to go, look at, look at what I do. I don't do this and just pull it. I squeeze and I run my, and I, I take his foot and I run forward. Alright? This one's a little bigger, I'm gonna break your head. <laughs> Like I said, I plant his foot, and then I just drive him right over. Like I'm looking in between his head and his shoulder and his hand, right, right, right here, so right down there, and I just look there, and that's where I drive. And then I load him up right here, and then you have to finish. So if you come here, he's just going to go hand in hand, and he's going to get two. He's going to stop you on your back. So we do lock, right? Load them up. And don't come here because he's just going to post you. And you're either going to stick yourself or stuck myself up. I'm doing that. Come here. Alright, so there's an armor. That's <coughs> what I want to try to. Keep your lock, touch this foot, run over the shoulder. And get it down here. You see how the, like, right. heels on the back, they got the lock still on the shoulder. This is where I want you guys to finish right now. Alright? You tell me you're going to take that over. So just try to pick it up. Check the shell game. Again, what you do right now is go to the position and pull it in. Five, three. That's so, I get the lock. So, right when I go, right when I go to power up, I'm pulling him in to kick him because he's had to do a lot of time. He's going to flush his ass. And he's going to come here. He's going to go up. Oh. You know, he's bring his hips up a little bit. And he's going to jump it up to me. And I'm going to go to that foot. I'm going to go to that foot. So I'm here. Just give him a little kick up to me. And then I just drive it away. And I'm coming. Just a little bit. Alright, I'm going to try it. Okay, we got it.